Greetings, All Blacks enthusiasts. The soaring optimism among New Zealanders regarding the All Blacks' chances at the Rugby World Cup has taken a significant hit following their recent, record-breaking defeat to the reigning world champions, South Africa, in their last warm-up match. Before we delve into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all the latest news on the All Blacks. You don't want to miss out on the daily updates I bring you about our favorite team. Now, let's dive into the latest developments. The All Blacks suffered a crushing 35-7 loss at the neutral Twickenham Stadium, marking their largest ever defeat in a test match. This setback has rekindled concerns that initially arose during the 2022 season when the All Blacks faced a rare three consecutive home test match losses. Although the team had seemed to regain its footing with four consecutive wins this year, including securing the Rugby Championship and retaining the Bledisloe Cup, those victories have been put into perspective by France's recent dominant 41-17 victory over the Wallabies. Coach Ian Foster has attributed the loss to a lack of recent match practice, multiple yellow cards, a subsequent red card, and a significant injury to prop Tyrell Lomax. However, the decision to field the strongest All Blacks lineup in the match has raised eyebrows, as the Springboks thoroughly outperformed them. Foster remains optimistic about the team's prospects, emphasizing the importance of learning from this experience. With only two weeks to prepare for the World Cup's opening match against France on September 8 in Paris, the All Blacks face a daunting challenge. New Zealand supporters are growing increasingly concerned that this loss may not be an isolated incident but rather a recurring issue. Weaknesses in set pieces, forward play, defensive composure under pressure, tactical decision making, and discipline have all been persistent problems. While the All Blacks boast some of the world's most exciting backs, questions have arisen about whether the forwards can provide a solid platform against top tier teams at the World Cup, especially in the absence of injured players like Lomax, Ritalik, and Frizzle. The All Blacks forward progress, which appeared promising earlier this year, now seems in jeopardy. The looming match against France, a pivotal game, becomes even more uncertain. In their history, the All Blacks have never lost a pool match at a World Cup, and a loss to France would be a significant setback. While they could still emerge from their pool, a loss could alter their path in the knockout rounds, potentially leading to a clash with South Africa in the quarterfinals, a scenario that's casting a shadow over the All Blacks. The confidence of All Blacks fans before a World Cup has often been linked to the team's performance. History has shown that varying levels of confidence have yielded different outcomes, making this World Cup campaign a challenging one for Coach Foster and the team. So, what can we expect from the All Blacks in this World Cup? Make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on all the latest news and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your opinion matters greatly to the All Blacks. Stay tuned for more updates, I'll be back soon with more news and insights.